Hey everybody, happy TNG Tuesday. For those of you who haven't been on my channel before, hey, I'm Gianna, nice to meet you. If you wanna go ahead and subscribe if you're into it and like this video, if you like it, that would be much appreciated. I used to work in Walt Disney World, Florida. I've worked in Disneyland, California, and I've worked on the Disney Dream as a fairy godmother in training on Disney Cruise Line. So I've been all over the Disney company. Currently, I am an annual pass holder and I go on Disney Adventures daily and I put out a new vlog every Tuesday. Sometimes I'm sitting and talking about things. Sometimes I am in the parks doing um, different kinds of adventures and things like that. If there's something that you specifically wanna see, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. I'm always making videos based on what I read in the comments. So let me know if there's something or if there's a question that you want answered. I answer every single one of my comments. So let's get into it. Currently, as you can see from my background, my backdrop or lack thereof, I am not in Florida right now. I'm not in my apartment. I am in Chicago. So I was born and raised here in Chicago. Um, my earlier videos, like my very first videos, are also filmed in Chicago, filmed in the other room, in my filming room, which was, which has since been turned into a home gym, which is so rude of my parents, but whatever. So now I am in my bedroom at home at my parents' house, filming here, because I have an update to give you guys. So there's been like so much going on and there is some exciting stuff coming out soon, but I just feel like there has been a lot of things happening in my life and I feel like I should update all of you because I know you guys are always commenting and asking all these kinds of questions. So here we go. So I moved to Florida right after I got off of the Disney Dream as a Fairy Godmother in training in February of 2018. It is now November, well, almost December, but December of 2018. So that whole time from February to December, I was living in an apartment in Florida, like two minutes from Disney World. Like if we're being honest here, like six minutes from Disney Springs, maybe 10 from Magic Kingdom. I was like in the prime time of it all. It was amazing. I loved the location of where I lived. It was rad, it was awesome. I had found the apartment, literally I would get off on port days when I was working on the cruise ship on Fridays, drive my ass all the way to Orlando, look at apartments, and then drive back to the ship and get on in my like three hour break. So like an hour drive to Orlando, look at apartments really fast and drive back because I knew that I wanted to live close to the magic. I got this apartment and it was beautiful and I was living by myself and it was like pretty expensive and like it was brand new. I was the first person living there. The place is called Adara World Gateway. It is right by the parks, insane location. It was like everything that I could have dreamed of when I was on the cruise ship because I'm like, I just want like space to myself and I want places to put my things and I want room to breathe because after getting out of that cramped little cabin that you're sharing with somebody else you just want to spread yourself like all of your things everywhere you just like want all the space in the world so i was so happy this place had 10 foot ceilings and i was like this is my dream i can like put my arms all the way up in the air which you can't do in your cabin so i was like on cloud nine there was nobody else in the apartment building it was awesome so i move in and like during my move in i see a cockroach. Where I come from in Chicago, if there is a cockroach, like there's an issue. Like it, it, you don't just get a cockroach, like a friendly cockroach who's like coming in to say hi. Like you have one cockroach, you got many cockroaches. It's gross, it's an issue, it's like not a thing. So I see one and I'm like, ooh. And then everybody in the world was like, oh, you live in Florida now, so like, you're gonna see those. They're called water bugs. They're called cockroaches. Like, let's call it for what it is. It's a cockroach. It's disgusting. The only difference between like a water bug, I Googled it. It's an American cockroach. It can fly, which makes it 10 times worse in my book, right? I mean, like, cockroaches alone, disgusting. If they can fly, I'm terrified. I'm out. So, anyway, I see this one cockroach. I'm like, oh, okay. Then like my mom's moving me in and she's helping me and we're like almost done with the move-in on move-in day. And like, I see one crawling on the ceiling and I'm like, ah, oh my God, this is gonna be an issue. I'm scared. 
So I had like moved everything. I'm like that type of person when you're like moving, I just want to get everything out of the boxes as soon as possible. So I like, I'm getting everything out and like all of my clothes, I like take out of the boxes, I put on the floor in the closet. I'm thinking it's a brand new place. Nobody's ever been in here. It's like clean as a whistle. And then once I saw the two cockroaches, I'm like, mom, we have to get my clothes off the floor immediately, like right now. And so we are like picking up all the clothes as fast as we can. And a cockroach just like scurries out. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. So I like send a little email to like the woman who set me up in that apartment. And I was like, hey, this, this, and this, and there's cockroaches and this is gross. And they were like, oh, those are water bugs. And I was like, oh, I literally don't care. I don't want them in my apartment. I don't know, okay, like diva, but like I'm paying for this apartment. It's a lot of money. And I don't want to live in like worry that a cockroach is gonna like crawl on my face in the middle of the night because it's disgusting. Also, I live alone, so like I have to deal with them. Like there's nobody where I can be like, oh, you kill it. I am the one. So literally my mom like helped me move in and everything and then she leaves back to Chicago. The next day, I'm like going to Ikea and going to Target and like doing all my shopping. And I got this like, a uh, little cork board from Ikea, put everything in my room, and like later on the night, I'm like fixing everything up. I like pick this cork board up off the ground, and a cockroach goes flying. And I'm like, huh, huh, huh. oh no, like, and nobody's here to help me. So I'm like, on the phone with my mom. This is so dramatic, but like, bear with me here. I'm sobbing because I'm like, I don't want to live somewhere with cockroaches. Cause like, I don't. So I'm in the bathroom. I'm looking at this thing. We're like squared up. I'm like, make a move, make a move. Cause I'm about to get you. I'm about to get your ass. But like, I couldn't like work up the courage to smash this thing. So I like have this like ugly witch shoe in my hand. Like the shoe that I wore when I was a fairy godmother in training. And I'm like waiting, waiting to smash it. And it was like, it's just so gross. It was so gross above anything else because like, you know, cockroaches just mean like dirtiness and like I'm the cleanest person and I hate mess and I hate, I don't, like I just didn't know where they were coming from. I was really annoyed. So like every time I saw one, I'd take a picture, I'd email it to the lady and I'd be like, hey, listen, this is disgusting. It needs to be like handled. And nothing happened for a long time because they were like, they're just water bugs and it's happening because you're the only person here and we just dug up all this like land that the cockroaches were living in. Okay, so that doesn't make me feel any better. They're like, oh, when, once people start moving in, the cockroaches will leave. I was like, okay, so I'm hoping on this, right? And like days after days going by, I see a cockroach here, see a cockroach there and I'm killing them and I'm getting them out and whatever. I never, I, we had, I had this like beautiful patio screened in so bugs don't come in, but like somehow cockroaches were coming in so like I couldn't open the door. I couldn't like do any, literally one time I like opened the door to leave the apartment. Cockroach ran in so fast and I was like stomp stomp. But I was like, they're like literally just coming from everywhere. So like as the days go on, people start moving in and I'm like hopefully like this is gonna stop the cockroaches. It doesn't stop the cockroaches. And I'm saying this like, I wasn't seeing them every day, but probably like once or twice a week. Like they were like renting. And also these cockroaches, not afraid. Not afraid of me, not afraid of light. I'd walk in from work, turn the lights on and they'd be like, hey, like standing in my kitchen, like what's up girl? And I'm like, get out of my apartment. Like this isn't, this isn't fun. So people started moving in. The problem was not resolved. So I am like, the, my boyfriend says I'm like the queen of following up because I will like, <laughs> I'm not the type of like, I will call your manager, but like if there's an issue happening, I am gonna be like on it until the issue is solved. So I'm like continuing to email these people and they're like, okay, we're gonna have a exterminator come up every Friday. So the exterminator starts coming up and he's leaving these like little traps in my apartment. And sometimes I come home and the traps have like these big, fat cockroaches in them, which is just like disgusting. And then as I started to make friends in Florida, like friends from outside of Florida who 
moved to Florida, they're like, my apartment has cockroaches, my apartment has cockroaches, my apartment has cockroaches. So then I started to believe everybody in the beginning that was like, oh, well, you're in Florida now, you just have cockroaches. Like, why did nobody tell me this? This is disgusting. So um, my friend Ryan actually was like living in this apartment when we first met. She has since moved out, but uh, she said one night she like heard her sister screaming and she texted her to find out what was wrong. She's in the other room and a cockroach had fallen on her face from the ceiling. Horrified, like mortified. So one night I was in bed, there was one climbing up my nightstand. Like they had no fear. It was disgusting. And then they started to taper off a little as the exterminator was coming every Friday, but then sometimes he would come and then they would be back. And I was getting like so fed up. I had a 12 month lease. I started in February, end of February. So my lease should be up in February. But I fought so hard to get out of my lease because I could not stand sharing my apartment with these cockroaches. And I just thought like, it's really not, it's just not good. It's just not good. I don't wanna be around cockroaches. I would rather be in a place that's more lived in if that means that there are no cockroaches there. I know people are gonna be commenting on this, being like, well, you live in Florida, there's gonna be cockroaches. But like, I am determined to find a place that does not have cockroaches because it's gross. Really, really, really gross. So, I like fought to break my lease, broke my lease about like two weeks before Thanksgiving. I was over it, fought hard to break my lease. Like two weeks before Thanksgiving, broke my lease. Um, same time my boyfriend broke his arm. So I'm moving out of my apartment, literally everything, my bed, my furniture, everything, my couch. I was like a one man show. I was like packing it all up, boxing it all up. I was like ready to get out of there. My lease is actually up literally today, November 30th, but I moved out even earlier than that because I was like, I'd rather be home for Thanksgiving. As you know, for those of you who've been watching my videos for a long time, last year I wasn't able to be home for any holidays because I was on the Disney Dream. So I was on the ship for Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, Christmas, New Year's, everything. So like I didn't get to spend any time with my family at all for the holidays last year. So I was like pretty hyped that I got to come home for Thanksgiving. So packed my things up, done with that apartment. Like so done with that apartment. I'm out of there, never looking back. So I'm currently at home in Chicago at my parents' house and my new lease starts in January with my roommate from my first college program, Christy. She is literally the best. I cannot wait to live with her. So we're gonna be living in a new apartment in a new town, still very close to Disney, but also close to like civilian life. So I'm gonna be back to like being a normal person and a Disney person at the same time because like those two things didn't really coexist at Adara because I was so close to Disney. So I was like, fully Disney all the time, like Disney, Disney, which is like still my life. But now I can like be off property a little more too, which is like really, really exciting for me. So I'm really excited about that. So we signed a one year lease together, lease assigned, done. So that being said, I'm going to be home for the holidays. I get to be home for Christmas Eve. I get to be home for Christmas. I get to be home for New Year's Eve. I get to be home for New Year's. I get to be home for it all and be with my family, which is so cool. So that's where I'm like currently at right now. As far as stuff goes, traveling wise, because I know you guys like, like to know the updates on what I'm doing next. Everybody's like, when's your next cruise? When are you going to Disneyland again? So here we go. I am sailing on, get this. I am sailing on a cruise December 9th, which is 10 days from today. And it is not a Disney cruise. So like, we're going on a family cruise all together. My mom, my dad, my brothers, me, Ryan, um, my brother's girlfriend, my brother's friend. Like we're all going as like a huge group of 10 together as our Christmas gift. And it's on a celebrity cruise ship. It's the maiden voyage of the Celebrity Edge, 
which is very exciting because like maiden voyage right that's like so bad i'm gonna get so much content of things that like people have never seen this is really cool but it's not a disney cruise and like you know disney cruise is like my like lifestyle so I'm very stressed out about this cruise because everything so far has been so different from like planning to excursions to like everything has been wildly, wildly, wildly different. So I'm really having to like go with the flow and like take it as like an actual vacation. So I'm really, really excited to do it, but it's going to be so different. It's my first cruise in my entire life that's not on Disney Cruise Line. So I will be vlogging. I, my plan right now is to vlog every day of that and I'm sure that that'll go that way unless it's like really boring then maybe I'll make like a whole video but so you can look out for that pretty soon so Celebrity Edge um, I think it's Western Caribbean uh, seven night eight day cruise we're going on on December 9th which is gonna be so exciting and then I'll be home for Christmas but I'll be doing stuff all around Chicago that I'll be able to film and then January 11th, I am going to New York to see Clueless, the musical. I am literally so excited because Dove Cameron is everything to me. I love Descendants. I love Livin' Maddie. I just like love her as a person. And I've never seen the movie Clueless. Could literally care less about Clueless, don't care. I am so excited to see Dove Cameron like do her thing and sing live and it's just gonna be incredible. So I will also take you along for that as well. And then I will be back in Orlando doing my thing. Um, Pre-celebrity cruise and post-celebrity cruise, I am going to Epcot Festival of Holidays, Disney Springs, Christmas Tree Trail, all the Christmas stuff in Disney I will be doing, so I will be vlogging that. I think that's all for my like big giant update, but I just wanted to let you guys know like where I'm at, what's going on, what you can expect coming next from me, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic holiday. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I hope you have like the best December ever. Make sure to start watching ABC's 25 Days of Christmas uh, tomorrow that starts, and I know it'll be like different once I upload the video. This video is going up Tuesday, so it'll already be like a little bit into it, but like get into the Christmas spirit early. That's what it's all about. It's so exciting. And thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. New video will be coming out next Tuesday. You can look forward to it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to me, subscribe. New videos every Tuesday. I know I said that 16 times, right? But I never say it in my videos. So now you know. Happy Teen Tuesday, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.